Are you someone who believes that you're never good enough? Do you constantly worry what other people think about you? If you do, your environment, which includes the people you spend your time with, could be contributing to low self-esteem. Our self-esteem is directly related to how we evaluate ourselves and this affects our confidence. It influences the choices and decisions we make in our life. In this video, we will talk about how your environment affects your confidence. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Sean Christian, physician, author, entrepreneur, and founder of Confidence Psychiatry. We release new videos on this channel every Friday, so be sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when new helpful videos are released. Without further ado, let's begin. What does self-esteem have to do with anything? Self-esteem is the belief you have in yourself. It helps you to see the bright side of your personality. It brings out the flavors of life by bringing you hope, peace, and happiness. There are many words people use to describe self-esteem. Some are self-confidence, self-assurance, and self-regard. Environment and people who we spend our times with can directly affect our self-esteem. Having low self-esteem could have a negative impact on a person's life and mood. Therefore, people should try to keep their self-esteem at the highest level. What exactly does environment mean? Environment isn't necessarily nature like the forest and beach. Although research suggests these things can have a positive impact on your confidence, when we talk about environment, it is more than these. Environment could be your home or work. Look at your home and work and ask yourself if you feel happy, confident, and motivated by this environment. If you don't, try to figure out why you feel that way. Is it the location? Is it clean, organized, inspiring, and reflective of who you are? If not, then work on making changes and fixing it. Making changes, cleaning up, and organizing your environment can improve your mood, self-esteem, and make you feel more confident. Environment can also include people you spend your time with, such as family, friends, and co-workers. The people who care about you want to see you succeed and be happy. They have a positive effect on your mood, self-esteem, and confidence. Other people who are hostile towards you, excessively criticize you, or who do not have your best interests in mind have a negative effect on your mood, self-esteem, and this can destroy your confidence. It is best to avoid spending time with such people. If you cannot avoid them, it is best to limit the time you spend with them. Nowadays, media, whether it is social media, news, print ads, and internet can contribute to widespread self-esteem issues. Constantly trying to look and act like public figures, celebrities, and models can negatively affect our self-esteem, confidence, and self-worth. If you find yourself being negatively affected by the media, it is best to avoid it. Alternatively, you can connect with people who motivate you and inspire you. In addition, you can watch videos or read up on things that motivate you. You can also learn from others and their experiences. Environment can also include excessive noise, environmental pollution, hazardous working conditions, and even toxins such as drugs, alcohol, and smoking. All these can directly affect your mood, self-esteem, and confidence. How your environment sabotages confidence. What you see, hear, and experience not only changes your mood, but they can affect your nervous, endocrine, and immune systems. Your environment directly affects your mood, self-esteem, and confidence. When you are in an environment where you are happy, your mind actually has a chemical reaction due to the release of hormones known as the happy hormones. These include dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, and oxytocin. When you are in an environment or around people who don't make you feel good, your mind is actually releasing more of the stress hormones 
which cause you to have symptoms of anxiety, feeling drained, irritated, and depressed. You may experience physical symptoms of increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, difficulty breathing, nausea, vomiting, etc. The stress hormones include cortisol, adrenaline, and norepinephrine. If you are not happy with your environment, it can directly affect your mood. Long term, it can cause chronic medical conditions such as depression, heart disease, high blood pressure, and stroke. Living in an area that has poor sunlight and poor weather can also sabotage your self-esteem and confidence. If you cannot relocate, then you can change the light bulbs to bulbs that mimic natural sunlight. It is important to note that no bulb can completely mimic natural sunlight. However, artificial light of some bulbs can resemble it and have some beneficial effects. You can visit your local hardware store to see which bulbs work best for you. Conclusion When you have low self-esteem and lack confidence, you are at a higher risk of not fulfilling your real potential. Knowing what triggers your stress and hurtful emotions is the key so you can make positive changes and improve your confidence. Spend time doing things that inspire you, such as listening to music, watching motivational shows, or spending time with people who uplift you. Limit the time you spend in the environments that pull you down. The only person who has the most control over your own self-esteem and confidence is you. For those of you who find it difficult to make changes or who are severely depressed and have self-esteem issues, you may seek help from a licensed therapist or medical professional who can work with you directly. If you're interested in learning how to overcome your limiting beliefs, then check out our video on this topic. The link will be in the description below and a notification will pop out on the top right hand section of this video. Now that we covered how your environment affects your confidence, let me know in the comments below which environment affects your confidence the most. If you know someone who would benefit from this video, please share this video with them. Also, if you haven't already done so, remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any important video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter at Confidentiatry.